Hello everyone, and welcome to our video on understanding stimulus-stimulus pairing. In this video, we'll explore what stimulus-stimulus pairing is, and why it's important in behavioral psychology, especially in applied behavior analysis. Stimulus-stimulus pairing is a fundamental concept in psychology, particularly in behaviorism. It involves associating a neutral stimulus, NS with a meaningful or reinforcing stimulus you ask to evoke a response. Here is neutral stimulus, which initially does not elicit any specific response or behavior. It is a stimulus that holds no inherent significance or meaning to an individual or organism. When presenting neutral stimulus with meaningful, unconditioned stimulus in close temporal proximity, and neutral stimulus gets rewarding over time, neutral stimulus will be conditioned stimulus. This process is called stimulus-stimulus pairing. Let's take a look at an example. Imagine you're in a classroom, and every day before lunch, a bell rings. Initially, the sound of the bell is just a neutral stimulus. However, over time, as the bell consistently predicts lunchtime, students start feeling hungry when they hear the bell. In this case, the neutral stimulus bell sound becomes associated with the meaningful stimulus feeling. Hungry, leading to a response. Another example is the notification sound on your phone. Initially, the sound may not mean much. But if you often receive exciting messages from friends, the notification sound becomes associated with the anticipation of a message. So whenever you hear that sound, you feel excited, expecting a message from a friend. Let's consider the smell of popcorn at the movies. Initially, it's just a neutral stimulus. But as you enjoy watching movies and eating popcorn, the smell of popcorn becomes associated with the excitement of going to the movies. So whenever you smell popcorn, you feel excited about watching a film. Party music is another example. Initially, it's just music. But as you attend more parties and have fun, the music becomes associated with the enjoyment of social gatherings. So whenever you hear party music, you feel like dancing and having a good time. Lastly, let's talk about a classroom reward system. When teachers give students stickers as rewards for good behavior or achievements, the stickers themselves are neutral stimuli. However, when paired with praise and a sense of accomplishment, the stickers become associated with positive feelings. So students feel proud and motivated when they receive stickers. Stimulus-stimulus pairing is crucial in applied behavior analysis for several reasons. Establishing stimulus control AEBAE aims to modify behavior by manipulating antecedents and consequences. Stimulus-stimulus pairing helps establish control over stimuli in the environment. By associating a neutral stimulus with a meaningful or reinforcing stimulus, the neutral stimulus gains the ability to evoke a response similar to the reinforcing stimulus. This process helps create predictable antecedent conditions for desired behaviors. Building positive associations in ABA, practitioners often use stimulus-stimulus, pairing to create positive associations with neutral or aversive stimuli. By pairing neutral stimuli with reinforcing stimuli, individuals learn to associate previously neutral stimuli with positive outcomes, making those stimuli more likely to elicit desired behaviors. Reducing fear or avoidance in cases where individuals have fear or avoidance responses to specific stimuli, stimulus-stimulus pairing can be used to change these responses. By pairing feared stimuli with positive or neutral stimuli, individuals may gradually reduce their fear or avoidance responses, leading to more adaptive behaviors. Establishing discriminative stimuli, discriminative stimuli signal, the availability of reinforcement for specific behaviors. Stimulus-stimulus pairing can help establish discriminative stimuli by associating particular cues or signals with reinforcement. This association helps individuals discriminate when certain behaviors will lead to positive outcomes, increasing the likelihood of those behaviors occurring. Enhancing learning stimulus-stimulus pairing facilitates learning by establishing connections between stimuli and reinforcing events. This process is foundational to many behavior change procedures in AEBA, such as discrete trial teaching and naturalistic teaching strategies. By pairing stimuli effectively, practitioners can enhance learning opportunities and promote skill acquisition in individuals with diverse learning needs. 
Stimulus-stimulus pairing is a fundamental concept in psychology, particularly in the field of behavior analysis. It refers to the process of associating a neutral stimulus with a meaningful or reinforcing stimulus. In order to evoke a response, it helps shape behavior, establish stimulus control, and promote positive learning experiences for individuals across various settings and contexts. That's it for today. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching.